Are you sick of living in the shadow with someone else? Need some help learning to love yourself and tap into your unique strengths or embrace your leadership potential so you can thrive in your life. This is Empower with Nancy. Let's start the show. Oh. The power of pain. Everything that we do involves pain. Pain just shows up in everything that we do. There's all kinds of different pains that we go through in our life. It's not something that we actively seek out, right? But it's here and it's here for a purpose. Pain is part of every single meaningful journey in our lives. So whether we're just pushing forward on maybe a big goal that you have or building a business, strengthening your relationship, or even just trying to get through a tough day. Pain always shows up. It's like this shadow that is always there. And it reminds us that we're on the path that matters. And pain doesn't mean, I don't want you to get me wrong here. Pain doesn't mean that it's a negative thing. Pain, you don't have to have pain every single day. So why is pain such a constant companion to us? Because it's how we grow. I want you to think about this. When we're lifting weights at the gym, It's that muscle that burns, or maybe you are on the treadmill and you're running and running and running, and you're just feeling like I'm going to throw up and my legs are hurting. It's the resistance that actually builds our strength. Life is no different. Every time we face a challenge, every time we feel the sting of failure, or maybe the frustration of things that just don't go as planned. We're building our mental and emotional strength. We're really building our mold and preparing for what is next. Instead of seeing pain as an enemy or something negative, What if we see it as a powerful force working for us? What if pain is there to teach us something, to push us beyond our limits and coming out of our comfort zone, to make us resilient? How about that? Because when we choose to see pain in the way, we stop running to it. We run far, far from it. We ignore it. We freeze up. We point fingers. We don't take accountability. I'm going to provide you some examples, and I hope that this resonates with you. Maybe you're in a job where you feel stuck or overlooked, or maybe you're trying to move up in a position. But the path isn't clear for you. And every step feels like you're just grinding away with a little tiny reward or even no reward. You're pouring in extra hours. You're pushing yourself. But the progress is slow. You have these limiting beliefs that you're not good enough. You have this pain within yourself that You're telling yourself, maybe I shouldn't be here. You're making up all these limiting beliefs because you are giving up on yourself and you're telling yourself that you are not good enough to be in the next position up. You're not good enough to keep moving up that corporate ladder. Why? So how about we reframe that frustration that you are feeling? It's pushing you to really develop a resilience for yourself. It's teaching you discipline every time you don't give up. You rebuild and prepare yourself for the next big opportunity. This pain of feeling overlooked might be pushing you 
to hone your own skills, develop a unique edge for yourself, or maybe seek clarity on your real career goals for yourself. How about we not just stay stuck in feeling the pain as though you cannot move forward? Yes, you can. Get rid of the negative energy. Get rid of those limiting beliefs. Get rid of those thoughts that you are not good enough and that you can't move forward. Everything we do, we have a little sting or a little pain of something, but it doesn't mean that you have to stop in your tracks. You got to keep pushing forward. How about building a business or maybe a side hustle? That's what I did when I worked for corporate America. I was coaching, not only coaching and mentoring people within the career, but on the side. So starting a business sounds exciting until you're in the trenches. Maybe you're invested in time, energy, and money into an idea, but you're barely breaking even, or you're just throwing up your hands because you feel like you can't get a client, or you're not getting the right client, or you're facing rejection, the financial stress, the self-doubt, the hours spent working when others are just relaxing. Isn't it feel heavy? Let me tell you, it felt freaking heavy for me. And sometimes it still feels heavy. But do I give up? Absolutely not. I reframe my mindset. That stress you're feeling, it's making you more resourceful. It's pushing you to become creative, to dig deeper into your purpose, and to stay committed even when the tough times are really tough. Every time you overcome a setback, you're building confidence and resilience. You're becoming the kind of person who doesn't quit easily, who finds ways to make things happen. The pain here is the pathway to become a leader who can withstand the storms without giving up. How about let's talk about relationships. Maybe you're in a relationship where communication is shit. It feels overwhelming. The communication's not there. That you just say, you know what, I'm not going to even have a conversation because I already know where the damn conversation is going to go. You're both trying to make it work, but misunderstanding and disagreements keep suffering, right? It feels like pain to keep facing the same issue over and over again. You might be tempted to shut down or to avoid addressing the real issues because it's uncomfortable. So how about reframing? This pain is showing you where growth is possible. And maybe it's teaching you how to listen more deeply, how to open up the vulnerable moments for yourself or how to communicate. The communication is what you need. Every difficult conversation is a chance to practice companionship, empathy, and patience. That isn't just pain. It's a chance to build a stronger and more resilient connection for yourself. Believe and achieve that you can have and do anything you want. Personal growth and self-development is something last that I want to talk about. So maybe you're working on yourself, your health, your mindset, setting the key skills for whatever it is that you want to do. So try to establish habits like getting up earlier, eating healthier, or how about dedicating time to learn something new for yourself, but it's a struggle, right? You're feeling, how in the hell am I going to be able to do this self-development for myself? What does that look like? How do you, how, how would you feel about feeling empowered and fulfilled? So let's reframe our mindset that discipline, that discomfort you feel when pushing yourself 
is exactly what will keep you going and take you to the next level. Every time you resist the urge to quit, you're strengthening your self-control, building confidence, and moving closer to becoming the person that you want to be the best version of yourself. This pain is the price of progress. It's the friction that leads to transformation for yourself. Pain is not always negative. Pain, there's a purpose behind the pain. We learn from the pain. It makes us stronger. Every example here that I provided shows us something powerful. Pain isn't random and it's not pointless. It's there to shape us, mold us, and make us stronger. So instead of avoiding it, lean in, choose to see each struggle as an opportunity to grow, to build resilience, and to step into a new version of yourself. Think of pain you're feeling right now and find one way it might be working for you, not against you. So I want you to write it down, feel it, and let that perspective shift and power you. This journey isn't easy, guys, but it's worth every freaking ounce of effort. But you have put the effort into it. Let's embrace the growth, the strength, and the transformation that comes from leaning into the pain. And remember, you have control of the will and you have control of the choices that you make. With gratitude, Nancy. Thank you for listening to my podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a rating and review, and share it with a friend. To connect with me and get all the behind the scenes content, you can follow me on Instagram at Empower with Nancy and visit my website, empowerwithnancy.com, to learn more about how coaching with me can significantly enhance your life and business. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. See you next time.